guys, it's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And today is Knit Happens. I, uh, I missed last week of Knit Happens. Oh, things have just been going crazy around here. We've, uh, I think we're finally, and of course now that I say finally, um, it's going to snow again. But, um, we're... I don't know if you can see, but we still have feet and feet and feet of snow out there, but it is melting, so that's a good thing. So, um, let's talk knitting. Um, how's everybody's knitting going? I know not everybody knits, and that's okay. Um, I wanted to try it, and um, I did try it. I've taken a couple of classes and I've knit one sock. Um, I haven't started the mate to it yet. Um, I have knit uh, hats, lots, not lots of hats. Um, but for me, um, I have knit one, two, three, four, five five, maybe six hats. Not all of them have been, um, you know, intricate or anything, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I am enjoying doing some knitting. So, um, let's talk about my first knitting project. Uh, I double dog dared a couple of people, um, because when I would show my you know, knitting progress in Zoom, they would say, oh, that's cool. I want to learn how to knit. And, oh, I want to learn how to knit. So I double dog dared people with a, with an easy knitting pattern um, to learn to knit. Uh, some of them are having lots of fun. Some are not having lots of fun. Some are having difficulties. And I wish I could just, you know, appear right there to help them because um they are um they're knitting pearls and um, a couple of things that go around them so uh yeah but i can't be there to help them right there so i try to help through zoom whenever i can so with that Here we go. I had to find the other end. This is the blanket or the throw. It's going to be kind of disappointed in the size, but it's going to be um, a throw size, which is fine. Um, but this is this part. Can you see where I had my... I don't know if you can see it. Here is my lifeline right here. So um, that kind of like dark purple section shows the last part and now this new section that we're doing. So this is one side of the new section And this is the other side of the new section. So that's what it's looking like. Um, we are on, um, let's see, I think this was row 58 that I stopped on. Excuse me, 48. So um, we, if you're up, you know, if you're keeping up with me, you should be on row 48. And um, the next three rows will be due like next Friday. So up to row 51. And uh, so yeah, it won't be much longer. We will be starting a new section. So, um,
The pattern for this is called um, the Fall Cuddler Blanket or Fall Cuddler Knit Blanket Throw or something or another. So, um, the yarn that I am using is Anniversary Cake. Caron Anniversary Cake in the color Grape. So, here it is right here. All right, so now, the project that you guys really want to see and really want to know if I finish. So, did I finish the chicken hat? Hmm, I don't know. So, let's pull it out and see what I have done with the chicken hat. Okay, so, I don't remember when, excuse me, um, uh-oh, here she comes, nope, she's getting on her sleeping spot. Um, I don't remember when, but it was last year, um, I was gifted this, uh, chicken hat pattern from Debbie the Canadian crotcheter and um, I finally finished it <laughs> I finally finally finished it man here it is so there's one there's one chicken there's another chicken Oh, there's a fuzzy. There's another chicken. And the last chicken. Alrighty, so there is the chicken. Isn't it adorable? There we go. So, I do have one end to sew in right there. Um, I have not finished sewing in all of the ends yet. But, it is done. So, um... I am going to start another one. Uh, and this one, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Debbie so much for gifting me this pattern. I love it, and I can't wait to wear it. Um, it is very, very warm since it is made out of wool. Um, the, all of the ends aren't sewn in. I have one, two, three. I have five more ends to sew in. Um, so I won't show you what the inside looks like right now. Um, but it's lots of crisscrosses going back and forth. And, you know, not crisscrosses this way, but just a lot of going around and around and around. Um, that's what it looks like. I do have a pom-pom for it right here um i have to get a blow dryer to um to to wake i guess wake it up because it's kind of flat um but otherwise i love my new hat and um i can't wait to wear it but this piece needs to stay in there there we go <laughs> all righty so there it is what do you guys think i love it Alrighty, so, um, oh, let me tell you what yarn I used. Um, for the actual chicken, I used, um, some yarn from Yarn Snob Keith. This stuff is so, 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 so soft. It is a 100% superwash merino. Um, 218 yards, uh, 100 gram hank, um, and the color is barcode, and it's uh, black and white. It's gorgeous, and it is so, so squishy, squishy soft. So, I have this that I can use more of. Um, this one is actually going to go with another pattern. Uh, it's a crochet pattern, though. 
Um, this is Cascade 200, I think. Um, let me get it. It's just a solid white. Uh, yo, Cascade 220. Um, it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. There's uh, 3.5 ounces, 220 yards. And here we go, right here. Actually, I won't be using this because, oh, actually, I will be. I don't know if I will be or not. Um, but it is the color white. 100% Highland Peruvian wool. This one is not as soft as um, Yarn Snob Keith's is. His is oh so soft. I um, I don't want to pull his out because um, I might get creepy with the yarn. So yeah, some people know what it's like to be creepy with the yarn. Okay, so the brown part, which is what. I was kind of thinking about was a, the a barn background um, is a Malabrigo Rios um, and it was a single lot. This was the um, only color that they had and I liked it because it was tonal. You know, it had a light tan, a brown, kind of like a dark blackish brown. Um, I really like this one a lot. So, um, I use this one for the background um, or what I was going for, um, kind of like a, a barn. <laughs> okay, so let me put this one back and I should have just one more. Uh, the yellow I used for the beak and the mouth um, I just went to the local yarn store and I looked in their little scrap bin that they have and I cut off just enough for, I think it was like 24 stitches and, um, that's it. The other one that I used is, um, another Malabrigo, uh, Rios in the color, what is it, Cereza, I think. 033 Cereza, and this was the beautiful red. That was my my barn door kind of like color. I don't know, but man, it's got Persephone hairs all over it. I have no clue how that happened. So, alrighty. Now, um, I will be working on this blanket. This blanket is for my um, son. Uh, so he can sit on the couch and um, have all kinds of fun. The needles I used, I forgot about that. Um, the first set of needles I used were um, 3.5 millimeter. And I think it's a 24-inch um, cable. Yes, and they are from Clover. Um, and then uh, once I got done with the red part of the brim that lasted for hours and hours and years, um, I went to a 4.5 millimeter and a 16-inch uh, cord. Um, I will have to say I like the magic loop method better than squashing all of these on a 16 inch cable. Um, so I think I will continue to use the, the magic loop because with the 16 inch cable, I had to go to, my DPNs. And um, I don't mind working with DPNs, but I couldn't get it tight where I wanted it to, and it was just kept getting loose. So, um, yeah, I like the Magic Loop um, a lot better. So, I'm going to take all of these out while I'm thinking about it. And, um, because, oh, actually, I just stick them in here for now. 
Um, because they need to go on the shelf up there um, until some uh, new patterns come around. Speaking of new patterns, um, you guys remember the book Knitting the National Parks, don't you? Well, let me tell you, um, I had a friend at knit night one night last couple of weeks ago tell me that you could buy kits of the hats um, from here and that she had a monthly subscription that you could buy hats, <laughs> kits for the hats. So I went and looked and um, since I canceled my Mary Maxim subscriptions, I just, oh, I put them on hiatus. Um, and uh, I'm going to get this one. My first one, I just got notification that my first one was mailed. I have no clue which, which hat it is, but I will be getting one of these hats with all of the yarn and um, the tag that goes on it that says what um, what uh, national park that it came from. That's my uh, dehumidifier telling me that I need to dump the water that's in there. Uh, who knew that a dry cabin would be more of a wet cabin? Oh, that's all right. Um, so, but, oh, that's the eggs. Who oh, boy, howdy. Lots of noises happening. All right. So, I will put up a link if you are interested in getting a, um, joining their monthly club. I will put a link, um, below for that. Um, but my local yarn shop is putting together kits also. And they have three kits that um, were available. And, um, of course, hello, this one is orange. I had to go with that one first. So, um, I did not buy the pattern. Um, the only thing that I bought was um, the yarn that I needed for it. Um, and I just follow the pattern as it is in the book. So that's a good thing. I do not know which yarn this is. Um, I am assuming, no, I'm not because this is a three weight yarn. So it's not a Malabrigo Rios. Uh, so yes, I do not know which um, yarn it is. I just know that there is uh, 45 grams of the orange and that there's 12 grams of the blue. And um, we are going to make the arches uh, beanie. And there's that beanie right there. So um, I honestly, let me see if I can find arches, Acadia arches is in the mountain region, that tells me a whole lot, and it is on page 90, and I think this is it, yes, so, uh, this is what the hat, um, looks like. So, uh, I know how to do cables. <laughs> Remember that 500 cable hat I made? Where is it? It's right over there, I think. I don't know. It might be over here, too. I don't know. I haven't put hats away in a while. So, there's the hat that I'm going to be making. Uh, it might not be the next one. I want to wait to see what hat... I get from, what is this lady's name? Nancy Bates. Um, I want to see what hat 
I'm going to get from that one. And I still have all of the yarn for my cat, my hat um, that I totally messed up. But that's all right. Totally, totally, totally messed that one up. It's all good. It's all good. So, once again, here is my chicken hat. I love, love, love it. And um, I just have a couple more ends to sew in, and it will be gone. Not gone, but it'll be hiding in here somewhere. As, as long as nobody steals it. I have been known to have people steal things that have been made already in here. So, um, that is all I have for Knit Happens. I'm eagerly anticipating seeing what hat um, kit I get before I start on this one. I just wanted to see which one it was and that way I could take a choice. Um, oh, one other thing that I will be starting to knit. Ugh. And this won't happen until, uh, uh, well, let's see if I can, there we go. Um, oops. I, I have a friend here in Fairbanks and another one, um, in, um, uh, in Florida. Um, and we are going to do a Stephen West shawl. This shawl won't start until, um, probably, um, the first part of May, um, because I'm going on a camping trip, um, towards the end of May. So the, I'm sorry, the first part of June, um, is whenever I will probably start this. So this is a pattern by Stephen West. I don't want to, okay, I can just, is the pattern is not in color. Um, it's not in color because I was very, very disappointed with his um, color choices in this. For his love of color, um, he's got some pretty drab colors in here. Um, browns, greens, browns. Um, the only color that really sounded fun was neon peach. It's, it doesn't look very neon-y. But that's all right, because, um, I have some, uh, some cool colors. And what I'm going to be using for that, don't look at my bum. Okay. Is the pickle jar colors. There we go. I have enough to make probably about four of these because I have another pickle jar full and a plastic bag full. So I probably have enough to do quite a few. But uh, look at that orange and purple color right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm-hmm. So, um, I will not pull out the greens because I can see right there, right at the top, there is a green. Um, I am going to pull them out, um, but I am going to put them in something different so I can uh, shake them all up and, you know, dig around for a really cool color. Uh, and if I get a color similar... I will put that color back in and try to get something way off the beaten path from it. But then again, I might not because this is 
I don't know. I haven't I haven't quite decided yet. So that's all right. But um, Stephen West, I am going to tag you in this. I know you're not going to watch it, and that's fine. I, I, I don't care. But um, I love, love your choice of colors most time, except in the unicorn parallelogram. But that's okay, um, because I'm wearing drab colors right now. Well, except for this beautiful blue, but and, and my beautiful pink nail polish. But you guys know me. I'm more of a bright, bright, bright color person. So, all right, this has gone on way, 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 way too long. Um, I really am enjoying my knit journey. Um, and if it weren't for me taking classes um, at my local yarn store, I don't think that I would be as far as I am now. Um, but I just, I keep pushing myself to try different um, approaches. And so that's what I do. So um, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.